I will show you the interface of Edimax DR6204 WLG. This is the version of the firmware 1.08. And this is general setup. This page is general setup. If you want to configure on the one side, you can click the one. It, this means wide area network. These are the options inside the one. Um, this is PVPoE. If your internet service provided, internet service provider provided your username and password, you can you will select this PVPoE. Input input this username, password, and the service name. This is optional. The service name, then apply. If your internet service provider is static, the internet service internet service provider provide you an IP. They give you IP address, subnet, gateway, and DNS. After inputting that one, apply it. Just click apply. Um, if you want to check if the router is connected to the internet, go to the status. Under status, select status info. Then click next on this tab go to the one setting you can see a thin IP protocol DHCP this means that the one side is dynamic if you select PPPoE you can see on this area PPPoE connected or disconnect and if it's connected you can see some IP on this area it should be filled if, if your connection is disconnected you can s you will see on this area PPPoE disconnected and all on this tab will be zero uh, if you want to upgrade the firmware you can go to tools upgrade firmware then click next then browse the file then upload it and just click refresh after uploading and you you can see on this area v1 point something and if you want to uh, put a password on your wireless go to general setup wireless okay on this wireless tab on the basic you can change the wireless name select basic click next then this is the SSID the word default you can remove this one then input the, the preferred name of your wireless network 2 to 32 characters in this area these are the channels the valid channels are 1, 6, 11. Then after changing this one, click apply. Then after that, the router will be reboot for a few seconds. Then if you want to change for the, if you want to input password, I mean you want to put password on your wireless, click wireless, security then click next the default of edimax or any router is none or disabled you these are the options inside WEP WPA WPA2 we're going to select WPA and this is TKIP temporal key integrity temporal key integrity protocol and you can place here the password the password is the minimum is eight characters then apply and your wireless network is now secured